Fortnite is super complicated when you're just starting. So today I'm going to show you everything I wish I knew when I started playing Fortnite. Thanks for clicking on this video, and stay to the end because I will show you how to improve 10 times faster. I will be going over basic techniques, good creative maps to practice in, and things you should know in Fortnite in general. Starting off with the first tip, and that is knowing that it will take lots of work to get good. I've been playing for 5 years and it took me that much time to get to where I am today. Don't stress about ranking up or getting better than your friends, just enjoy the ride and have fun playing the game, because you will get better over time. The next tip is to get a mic. If you have a headset and a mic while playing Fortnite, your experience will be so much better. Without a mic and headset, it will be hard to hear the game and communicate with your teammates. You can use it to talk to your friends, which makes the game way more fun, and if you're worried about talking to random people, there is a setting in which you can only hear and talk to your friends. Something I wish I knew when I started playing was to not camp to get a win. Camping is bad if you want to improve. Camping doesn't put you into any fights, which will hinder your improvement. Take fights no matter what. You have to put yourself in danger in a real game situation, so you can get used to the feeling of fighting for the win. It's more fun than you think and it will help you improve, so do it. The next tip is to explore the game. When I say explore the game, I mean several things. One of them is to explore the map. Exploring the map will get you used to your surroundings, so you can loot up and fight better. It will give you an edge in battles, so it's useful to do it. Another thing you need to explore is all the tabs in the top in the lobby. Make sure you know all these features so you can use them in the future. The last thing you need to explore is the settings. The settings are super important because they can change the way you play the game. You can adjust sensitivity, controls, brightness, sound, and so many more things. The next tip is not to take the game too seriously. I used to do this a lot and get mad when I got second place or lost. But losing is just part of playing the game. If you get angry, you will play worse and make more mistakes, causing you to not improve. Instead of when you die, try to figure out what you did wrong and try to fix it. Fortnite is just a game, and it shouldn't be your main priority. Do what you need to do first, so you don't have the thought of what you're supposed to be doing in the back of your mind while you're playing. If you don't do that first, you'll be thinking about it, which will make you feel bad and play worse in the end. And the most important tip you need to know is that creative is the best thing to play. If you want to improve the fastest, play creative. Creative has way more fights than Battle Royale, so you can get more practice and improve a lot faster. You can also practice specific things that you can't in Battle Royale, which I will show you soon. Creative is quicker and more effective than Battle Royale. You also don't have to commit to playing a whole match, so you can leave in the middle of creative. And the best part is that there are thousands of fun maps that you can play with your friends, and thousands of people that are good that are better than you you can play against. Speaking of creative, I will now show you the best two maps to practice in, and how to use them effectively. First is Raiders Mechanics V4. This map is the ultimate place to practice. Alright guys, so once you get in, it does look like this, and you have these weapons you can select from. So let's go show you all the areas of the map real quick, so you guys know what to do. This is just a quick little, um... You can just practice aiming, which is pretty easy, pretty fun. Here, here's your free world area. This is the most important area. And if you were just starting off, uh, which I'll show you later, I'll show you different techniques. But I like going to a slow speed and then just doing different building techniques and warming up. And then if you're, once you do that, you go to fast speed like this. And you can reset. And this, you're just trying to go for consistent edits and not trying to mess up any edits, which is still pretty hard. As you can see, I'm even messing up. And then once you're done with that, you go to back to normal, and then it should feel a lot, you should be able to edit a lot cleaner and faster, and more consistent and everything. And this is just a great warm up place to warm up your builds and everything. And over here we have tunnels, I don't really like tunnels, but you can just do it. It's really, it's just, uh, you can just like edit free edit course in here, it's, it's pretty good warm up, but I like free building much better, in my opinion, than doing more tunnels like this. And then we have peace control. I'll show you this at the very end. This is the hardest thing to learn. And all of these things, other things build up to the peace control. Then we have tunnels with targets. It's literally the same exact thing as tunnels. But instead you have some targets to go off of, which are, I mean, it's not that fun. It's okay. It's kind of like peace, like this is basically peace control, but a little bit worse. And it's kind of glitch in here. I can't even build a stair, which is weird. And then you just go through it like normal tunnels, but except there's bots you can shoot at. And then here, this part is actually very useful. Edit training, I use this a lot. And then what do you do? You want to pick a uh, static. And it basically just puts you in different editing scenarios. So you can practice editing. And then uh, the last one, we have clutch practice box fights. So basically, you can do a 1v2, 1v3, or 1v4. Pick how much HP you want, and then you start it. Basically, you're in the middle, and you have to try to beat all these bots in a 1v3, which is actually kind of hard. It's harder than it seems. They're all spraying at you at once. So it can be hard to beat it. 
It's best to use metal because then you have the most health in your builds. So that's a one down. Yep, and I died. This is actually very hard. So that's really all the sections of this. And since I showed you how to use the map, I'm now going to show you different techniques you need to know. And the first technique you need to know is how to edit fast. So let's go into the edit practice and moving. So basically to edit fast, you want to have tight crosshair movements. So you want to move it just a little bit to edit. Alright, the next simple thing I need to show you is how to ramp rush and for this to go in the free build section. And so if there is a an, if there's an opponent who has a ramp like this and they're on top of it shooting at you, then what you can do is the most simplest way to do this is just make sure you're one layer back like this. And you ramp and you rush your ramps up so then now you're above them. And there's different variations of this you can do, but this is the most simple version where you just build up, and then once you're above them, you can shoot them. And since you guys are just starting off, this is definitely the easiest way to win fights by just getting height. And if they're above you, say you're they're trying to build up, if they're trying to build up, just build over them like this, and then you'll still be above them and block them off. Alright, the next thing I'm gonna show you is the peaks area. So you over here, peak practice. Um, you don't really need to do this. I'm gonna do large and easy, so I can show you the easiest setting to do. Right here. So basically, the different peaks are when you shoot somebody without being shot yourself. And this is very important to learn if you want to, uh, win a lot of fights, especially in- As you saw in my clips earlier, I was shooting them without getting shot back, and that's basically by doing peaks. So there's different kinds of peaks you can do. You can do a window peak, where you just peek with a window. The simplest ones are the window, like this, and then the top right hand, which is these three, right here. And then you jump, and move to the left while shooting like this. So basically, if you do it fast, make sure there's a roof above you. If you do it fast, then it's gonna be- they only see you for a split second while you shoot. Which is very useful. So I'm going to show you right now. Let's do the window edit first. This thing, it will hit you even if you have a very good reaction time. So try to reset after you shoot. Like I barely even got that one. Like I, he just, he can hit you basically no matter where he is. So it's just good to practice aiming at the target that's moving. And resetting your walls. And the next thing I'm going to show you is how to box up really fast. So boxing up is basically when you're building... And you have a box around you protecting you. And this is very useful because if you get shot, if someone's shooting at you and get, say you get shot, you can box up really fast. And then you can heal up without them being able to shoot you. And this is one of the basically one of the most useful skills. And so basically the way you do it is you stand in the middle of a tile, you you do the wall, you and then you spam the you spam whether you're the trigger or the left click, depending on if you're playing mouse or controller. You do this and then you turn it all the way around and then you have walls and then there's probably already gonna be a floor above below you so then you place a, f a floor above and this is the base of the box and fast if you do it fast it looks like this where you just go and then the wall and if you do it really fast you can go boom that was like literally less than a second and if you can get to where you're doing that you'll be winning a lot more fights because you can heal up and just get covered quickly and then the more advanced version is where you do this floor and you put a cone in and above your box and if you have one in your box someone say someone breaks your wall you can edit the cone like this and flip it so you don't take damage and make another box so then you have two but if you do it fast it should look like this where you just go Eep. there we go i kind of missed the floor right there and then but you got it you can just cover and then you can as soon as you uh heal up you can come up fight him over here and that's honestly really, really easy to do. The last technique you need to know is how to crank 90s. And yes, I will show you how to crank 90s. This is one of the most simplest and yet uh, most iconic things you can do in Fortnite. So basically, to crank 90s, you go boom, place a stair. And then you place a wall to your front right. You can do the left or right it's easier. And then you jump and place a stair. Boom, jump and place a stair. Boom, jump and place a stair. But what you want to do, see, I'm moving left. So then I don't have to jump because if you jump several times in a row, like right now, you'll see I get like little bunny hops soon. See, look, I'm getting like shorter jumps. So what we gotta do is we gotta go like left like this. So then you can reset your jumps and go faster. So basically, this will allow you to move up faster. If you walk like this, see how it's a little bit slow. But if you go like this since you're going in a straight line and you're jumping up, you can actually take height faster. Once you're up here, you can just shoot your opponent. Alright, so the first advanced technique is called a high ground retake. So, say someone's in a box up here. So, they have a box, and they have height. They have height, basically, so they say they are cranking 90s on you, and they have a box, and they're shooting at you like this. 
So if you're the person who's down here, the way you can get up is by there's a simple the simplest way by doing this, placing a cone, and then editing through the cone and keep placing more cones, and then get up to them. That's the most simple way. And then after that, the next way you can do is place a cone in the floor, so then the cone doesn't break. Cone in the floor, double edit. It takes a little bit. Uh, it takes a little bit to learn how to do a double edit. It's kind of hard when you're first starting. That's the next step. And then once you get those two things down, there's two uh, the two better ways. It's like this. You go boom, and then instead of going through this, which your opponent will, will be expecting, you place a f stair, floor, stair, enter through the floor, and you go up. And then you can crank a 90, and then you're above on height, and you have a more fortified thing. This one's really easy, and if you want to see it fast, you kind of just go boom, 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 and this stuff is in the way. Yeah, but you guys gotta you just go boom, boom, boom. Drink a 90, and then you're up here. And now, the most advanced and best technique for um, high ground retakes is this one. You be in stairs, and you place two walls, then two more walls up here, so it's kind of blocking. And if they're on the left, then you do the same thing, but like this. But I'm doing it so the example is on the right. So you place a stair then, and then you edit out the front. And then you keep doing it until you get to height. And then once you get to height, crank a 90 toward the direction. Left side, same thing. Go like this, crank a 90 toward the direction. And then you can just shoot at him. It's really, really easy. And then there's also another trick you can do with this one. If you if they're if you're doing it too many times, they're expecting to come out this way right here. You can actually go out the side. Say they're behind you, so you're going out the front, going out the front, go out the side, then jump and place some walls, and then a stair above and below you. Catch yourself, and then you can just come up here. Then you're out of height again. But those will take a little while to learn, and it's actually really easy to practice if you're just playing. Um, if you're just playing creative and doing fights. Alright, the next advanced technique is how to tunnel. So tunneling is basically, so if you're at the edge of storm and you need to cover yourself, it's like boxing up, but you keep moving while having protection like this. So you can protect yourself. So if you need to move to the next circle, and you can just do this without getting shot. So basically all you want to do is you want to go, so you edit out the front, you go a floor, so you want to place in the middle like this. See how I barely have to move to put up and down on the floor? So you go boom, floor, and you're gonna move like this, very little. And then you can do like this, and then like that. So basically you just put two floors, three walls, and at the front. And if you wanna do it a little bit easier, you can go like this, and then place a wall each side, which is a little bit harder. I like editing better, because then you have it covered from the front, but you can also do like this, which is more of a tunnel, because you don't have to edit forward. The last and the hardest technique to learn is peace control. So just put it on easy out. If you're doing it, put it on easy. If you're just starting. So basically, there's like it's like tunnels, but there's more complicated stuff. So like there's a ramp right here, and basically you want to cut. You want to make sure you're always being covered so no one can shoot you. And there's gonna be a bot up here, and if the bot sees you, you get shot. So that's how you know you did it wrong. So what you gotta do? is basically you want to build around the bot. And there's different like things you can do. Like see how I can place a cone through this thing. So right here, I can place a cone above and below. Basically, you want to block all your angles and then try to shoot them. You gotta use the peaks like that you learned peak and reset to shoot them without getting shot back. Miss that. So basically, if you're doing it fast, you can learn how to do it. At first, you want to do it slow and just focus on not getting hit. But once you get used to it, you can go a little bit faster. See, I still got hit even though I was pretty much covered. But it's very, this is the thing that you want to learn because in real fights, you can do the same exact stuff. As long as you know where your opponent is, and then boom, full box. Then you just clip him. It's pretty, pretty cool. And then if you you, know, you just go fast. And this is also a great warm up if you're about to play some battle royale. You want to warm up. Just do this. Super easy, super fun. And this is also the hardest thing. Well, it's easy for me, but it's it's the hardest thing to learn. But if you play, if you follow everything that I said in the video, this will be easy. You can probably learn this in like two weeks. The other map we need to use is 1v1 Speed Realistics. This map is super good because you can practice fighting real players with the weapons in Battle Royale. Situations are real, so it emulates the same kind of fighting you would get in a Battle Royale match. A lot of good people play it too, so you can learn from them, and here is a round. So there's two scenarios, you're either w King like I am, or you're boxing up like he is. So right here, you just want to take height if you're w King, And most of the players are actually going to be pretty good, which is uh, good for you because then you can play against good players. Spray item a little bit. It's like he's trying to peek me, so I want to block it off. Oh, he's moving up. Oh, 
shock waving. Let's block off the top. Here's a high gun retake I'll show you guys. Move him at height. Now I can just look down and shoot him. That's actually pretty good, so we gotta watch out and make sure we don't get block off our angles. Ooh, he just pulled out a cool move right there. Trying to get some counter damage, so let's play very careful right here. Can we heal up faster? We're gonna shoot him. If he's healing up right now, I hear him healing up. So we know he's healed up, so let's go back on top to get hide again to shoot at him again. I just have to be careful because you don't get actually many maps, which is not good. Oh, he just beamed me. Okay. It's not good. So we're gonna heal up a little bit. Take some height. I think he's probably about out of mats because I'm almost out of mats too. He's made healing up. Let's look around, look for him. And looks like he fell and he died. Okay. Some other maps you can play to practice include Panville Box Fights, Forever Zone Wars, Go Goated, and Peace Control 1v1. None of these tips are useful unless you know how to rank up, so if you want to learn that, click the video in the middle of the screen. Jesus loves you and I hope you have an awesome day.